final game of the regular season, which started back in March. It's been another scintillating campaign. And it is a testament to the quality of this NRL competition that the final game of the season will determine the makeup of the finals. We know the teams are locked away, but the positions are far from it. And at stake here is the right to host next week. It's very rare, actually, in this modern era of rugby league that teams establish long winning sequences against opposition. It helps to lead the team out. They will be led out onto Points Med Stadium, though, by a man celebrating his 200th NRL game, Jordan Rapina. Thank Wade Graham for his immense service to the club. So a regular season that started in March concludes today, but these clubs have a new competition awaiting from next week. They'll be looking to carry winning form through. Canberra Outsiders on the back of some key absences, but they do have this impressive head-to-head -head record, and they have the experience of Elliot Whitehead leading the way up front. He said he very rarely runs decoys when they're in an attacking situation with the Sharks. So the Raiders, they bring four losses in their last six games into this afternoon's clash. Started slowly, were red hot in the middle of the year. But the last six weeks, they've been up and down. They were competitive against Brisbane last week until they got Reese Walsh in the last quarter of the game down in Canberra. And Tuppenay, what a role he's got today. He's got to dominate the middle of the field without his mate Papali. It's with Fogarty, who was under an injury cloud but has made it to the starters blocks. Crawley in the six. Hulu on an angled run. Right, pretty much exclusively to their right-hand side now. And Tracy! It is Rapina! He got out the by the best of the his 100th try for the Raiders! He's all effort, Jordan Rapina. You see him involved early in this game, chasing through the middle. Beautiful kick. See here, Izuzu D-Max replay just on the inside of Fogarty, navigates his way through and then leaps over the top of Connor Tracy. What a wonderful start by the Canberra Raiders. Jordan Rapina picks up his 100th try for the for the Raiders. There's obviously a plan come in. You can see Rapina just hanging around his halfback. Oh, probably about five, six inches on Connor Tracy. He's some player. Jordan Rapina. Freddie. From the champion fullback Billy Slater. Fogarty, 6 0 Canberra. He would have been talking to the Raiders team about this. And they've been very physical, the Raiders. And I feel like the Sharks have avoided the physicality at the start of the game. Maybe this is the little bit of luck they needed to come down here and show what they're show what they're doing. But they've got to come through the Raiders first before oh, they pass the ball. There's the physicality, Freddie. What a shot. He's Rudolph, that's a search. Well, we haven't seen those big, long shifts, sweeping plays where Nico gets oh, across field. Here's Trindle, catches on the advantage line. Hamlin Uele, back towards the middle. Rapid to made the tackle. Rayleigh, McInnes, Hines, they've got numbers here. Tracy feeds a short pass to Jesse Ramey and makes it five tries in five games at home. Yeah, mate, you got that, Ash? A yeah, beautiful play. Nico Hines will hide himself. Died. Just watch the work here of Connor Tracy. Izuzu Dumax replay. He'll hold the ball. Hold the ball. Just opens that space. He was just waiting for Jack White to bite on him. This will show it perfect. Holds the ball. Holds the ball. And Jack White has to commit. And beautiful pass to Jesse Ramian. Nice fullback play there, Bill. Yeah, they're one of the best attacking teams in the competition. Come into tackles, shoulder on the ball, forearms on the ball, and Tom Wolf. Oh. Good run, Chris. He nearly went straight through off the scrum there. Always saying just some backflip. Yeah. Probably more of a back roll. He's the world's biggest acrobat, Royce Hunt. Short side again, White trying to duck underneath the tackle of Nick. Right, that is a good battle, isn't it? 
And uh, Hudson Young with it now. It goes through the hands of Frawley. And Gula. Five and last. We've only got five minutes left in the half. Fogarty's done all their kicking, and here comes Rappiner again. Rappiner being Connor Tracy. He's got another one, John Rappiner. Reaches out and puts it down. And it'll be a question of whether the, the arm hit the ground well. and the tackle was completed. Well, the arm definitely hit the ground. It's whether Ash the momentum no try. had stopped. Trent has confirmed that he's held. He's two from two. Jordan Rapana Connor. takes clean possession, playing on at this stage. Well, Nico Hines makes the tackle. Ooh. No, he dropped it anyway. Drops. anyway. He loses the ball short of the try line. We have a decision. Well, I think it was a double movement anyway. This is a big half time coming for Craig Fitzgibbon to the Sharks. Frawley attacks left, Whiten back against the grain. This is dangerous, Whiten explodes. He nearly got through a hole there. Hunt with a good covering tackle. It's the fourth, and Fogarty takes on the line. This will be Canberra's last play of the half. They're all rushing out to the left. Wolford sweeps it back for Frawley. He's going to try and take one point, and he hits the post, and it bounces back, and the Sharks there. Someone's got to get it. It's picked up by Ramian. Well, it's only 6-4, but there's a bit to dissect about that first 40 minutes. The winner gets a home final. It's the last game of the regular season, and the stakes are high. 6-4, the Raiders very brave with an understrength team here against the Sharks in Cronulla. The referees handled this back. game really well. He stayed right out. So the Raiders resume. Hines with the take, back comes the uh, aggressive Royce Hunt, who played down in Canberra, of course, and he he was looking forward to taking on Corey Horsburgh in a return bout. They had a, a good clash earlier in the year. Now three it was, the Raiders won on that occasion. Shame for the Raiders, there is no Horsburgh, along with Papali'i. There's a big hole in your forward pack, doesn't it? Hazelton's been strong to the bench again, and now Nikora. Tackle by Trey Mooney in 20. Tracy. Real forward battle. Here's Gula. Bogarty kicks Tracy with the return. Look at him sprint back. Full tilt. Was that one speed again? Yeah. Mulatalo well, has gone backwards. One handed offload. And Ramian. Ramian busting out of tackles. Beats another one. Pumped away from Fogarty. Left Gula behind. Solo with the tackle in the end. Pick up in one hand and scoop here, and Braley tries to oh, run through the middle. That was a bad sign. Braley took off, and no one was supporting. They're all back on their heels watching. This is Oregon Kafusi. Ball spews out the back off his offload. Here's Talakai. This is the most promising passage of the game for the Sharks. Hines, his team on the front foot. Williams, Jack Williams, busts up the middle and beats them all. the middle with Sharks, and it all started in the backfield. Ronaldo Mulatalo opening space, Izuzu Dimax replay, and then Hines steps up, finds Williams through the middle. A little bit of fancy footwork, just got Rapina off balance and then had enough speed to get under the post. The Sharks are back.
They keep going. It's a kick by Fogarty. White turn. Oh, Tartoa with an unbelievable kick. Oh. 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 Wow. I don't like this, Ash. That was dangerous. It was probably accidental, but it's at least a penalty. Unfortunately, that's a send-off. He's gone. He's been marched. Wow. He didn't muck around great actors. He didn't even call him over. Said, off you go, son. Sebastian Chris go. sent oh, off. Sorry, Incredible. Somersaulted over the top. Hands on his back. And pretty. this one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's a bad. As Nicola comes off. We'll find it off Marley in a second. What happened to Nicker? Oh, gee, this is this will take a Hercule in it from Campbell's knee. Well, they've, they've been uh, immense oh, to impossible. be in the game after 60 minutes. It is impossible. With this game and how much ball and play to be down to 12 men with 20 minutes to go, it is near impossible. The Sharks are going to get to work. They've got to attack. Played way too conservative. Tracy, you can see the, the open space now with the player down, and Raymond's nearly cut through. What a tackle, Tuppenay. Oh see, they look a bit sparse with 12 out there at the moment. Camera, don't they? And Hines, he's going to kick through. It's a lovely way to kick. It's been spilled. It's a try. It's a try to Trindle. Raymond has done everything right, but that one bobbled away from his control. Yeah, he just tried to stay in the field of the play. Jordan Rappin up. He leaves everything out on the field. He tries his hardest every week. Doesn't deserve this. A nice little kick by Nico Hines. Izuzu D Max replay. Just threads it in, in behind, finds some grass. Rapina trying to stay in the field of play. Just fumbles the ball. And Connor Tracy, he's there on the spot. He dives over the top of Rapina and grounds the ball. The Sharks extend their lead. I think because the Raiders kept him out of the game for so long, everything now that comes good for the Sharks is a roar behind it. Trindle, Rudolph back in for his second shift. And six more. It's starting to pile up against the Raiders now. Trindle, Hines, cuts pass. Try! Militaro! Oh, the floodgates are opening. It's just nearly impossible. Well, it is impossible with how tough this game has been. How much defence both teams have done to be down to 12 men. Oh, it's easy to do Max replay, and it's just too easy. He's talking training gallop. Talakai runs the decoy, and Nico just finds Latalo on the end. And they're celebrating the Sharks. Yeah, the hearts combining. Trindle to Hines, and Latalo, he's the beneficiary. He gets out nice and low. Good on you, Freddie. I might take it to combat. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me a ticket from Tarts. That'll do, man. Oh, OK. Well, I've just got some news for you, for starters, and then I'll go on to the next. Yeah. Connor Tracy has come off with uh, a bit of a hamstring issue. It is something that's been bugging him all game. And with these l last nine minutes left, it's more precautionary that he's come off. But, yeah, on to the next one. Hey, Marley, there's some chips on a stick over there. Can you say they've got any left? Please, yeah. Can you get I'm sorry, I thought... Sideline reporter, not get, assistant. Get the one that's been dipped in oil all afternoon. <laughs> Thanks, Marley. The one that looks green. Here's Royce Hunt. Up together, Jamal! Oh, 12 short now, and nice pass to the middle of the ground. Hines with it, floats it over the top. One bounce, Kartola versus White, and then Kartola wins the battle. He can move this bloke, Sione Katoa. A metre in from the sideline. Now he's kicking into that Sow-Easter. Stewards? <laughs> They're all over it. Oh, we'll see tears if he kicks this. I'll Gals. tell you what, the crowd will tell you if he gets it. Go on, go it. over! He's go over! Oh! 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 Gals made another 50. Can you believe it? <laughs> 
And doubtful we'll see him next week in week one of the finals. So Cronulla have got the job done. Wade Graham offers applause to the Sharks faithful. It's his last home game from a regular season perspective.